In problem number 53, uh, we are asked to find the horizontal and the vertical asymptotes of this function f of x. So uh, if you've watched the previous videos from this section, then we're kind of experts now at finding the horizontal asymptotes. So how do we find horizontal asymptotes? Well, typically we take the highest power of x that we find on the top or bottom of the fraction, and we divide the top and the bottom by that highest power. The highest power on the top is x cubed. The highest power on the bottom is x cubed. So I could divide the top and bottom by x cubed. But what I also see is that the highest power on the top and the bottom are the same. So if I wanted to, I could just take the coefficients attached to those x cubed. On top, I have a 2. On bottom, I have a 1. So my horizontal asymptote is just going to be at 2 over 1, or 2. And so that's going to be y equals 2. So I'm kind of using the shortcut here. I could go through the whole process of dividing the top and the bottom by x cubed, uh, simplifying down, taking the limit as x goes to infinity, and at the end of the day, I would get 2. So I'm not going to go through that process again. I also need to find the vertical asymptotes. So to find the vertical asymptotes, what I want to do is factor this completely and then look for factors on the bottom that have nothing to cancel them out on the top. Remember, if they do have something to cancel them out on the top, then they're just holes in the graph. But if they do not, then they represent vertical asymptotes. So I need to factor this thing. So first of all, if I want to factor f of x, um, then I, I see it on the top. Everything has a factor of 2x. So let's just pull that out to start. So I have a 2x. Um, and then that would leave me with an x squared plus 5x uh, plus 6. And on the bottom, I would have I can pull out an x squared. Um, and that would leave me with an x plus 2. And now I can ask, uh, on top here, can I factor this down anymore? And the answer is yes, so let's do it. So I get that f of x is equal to, uh, this is a 2x times, uh, this factors to x plus 2 times x plus 3. And on the bottom, I have x squared times x plus 2. So what are the factors that I'm looking at here that are on the bottom? I have an x, I have another x, and I have an x plus 2. Now the question is, are there things on top to cancel those guys out? Well, there is an x that cancels out one of these x's, but can it cancel out the other x? No which means that there's going to be a horizontal asymptote at x equals 0. Over here, x plus 2 shows up, but there is an x plus 2 on the top to cancel it. So that means that at x equals negative 2, I have a hole in the graph, but I don't have an asymptote. So the only vertical asymptote that's going to show up here, it's not from this x minus 2, and it's not from one of these x's, but the other x on the bottom is going to give me a vertical asymptote at x is equal to 0. So I have a horizontal asymptote at y equals 2. I have a vertical asymptote at x equals 0.